This is the intro to my video. Please subscribe. Woo! Hey everyone, welcome to Resin Crafting with Chris Collected. On today's episode, we actually have a very special one because, well, <laughs> it's not resin. In fact, I will be making a squishy today. This is squishy gel that I got, as you can see by the packaging, off of China, specifically AliExpress. If you want to know, I can drop a link or something like that to exactly where I got it. It was just an experiment. I was like, I saw it online. It kept popping up in my thing of like, hey, uh, do you want to use this? I was like, oh, you know what? I actually do want to try it. <laughs> so we're going to try and make this hello, which is a connected piece. All the letters are connected. And then the rest of it, I was like, ah, we'll just do it in gummy bears. This, just like the epoxy resin, is a two part solution. It is a one-to-one -one version of it, meaning that I will put the exact same amount of A and B into this little silicone container. Now for today, we're just gonna do 100 of each. So 100 mils of A and 100 mils of B. Now let's get that B poured. I've been trying to pour, if you see on the right camera there, I've tried to been pouring it onto the side I've seen other people use a spoon or some kind of way to pour it in. I think I'm probably gonna do that in the future. Less bubbles. But this thing actually ended up, I, uh, I've already demolded it and the demolding video is included in this video. And so make sure to stick around to the end, you can see that. But it actually worked out really well. I was shocked about it because I was just like, you know, had no idea if this was gonna work or not. But honestly, to me, feels exactly like a squishy that I'd buy from a store. So I, I looked at how much I had and I realized I'm definitely going to have a few extra pieces. And so first one is we're going to add this little moon and scepter. Very similar to Sailor Moon or any kind of anime like that. But now it'll be in squishy form. As you can see here on the packaging, it said something about it being the signature blue color, but it is definitely not blue. It's very much clear or really like a white color. With epoxy resin, you often try to drop it like this to get some of the bubbles to release. And so I figured, hey, why not try it with this squishy stuff? Being as this is an experiment, I went ahead and grabbed some of my nail art. These are just like little pieces of plastic that are all cut up. And I was like, okay, let's see if this squishy can have extra fixins put into it or not. And so I'm just throwing a several colors just loosely into the top of where this moon is. Next, I'm gonna get my brush. Make sure to check out my unboxing life video and you can see these brushes up close. It's a set of Jujutsu Kaisen ones. And I figured this gummy bear mold would be perfect because I can do a bunch of different little experiments. So one of them again is putting this little nail art. This is something that you would typically put onto your nails when you were putting nail polish on it to make it, you know, very shiny. This is just some glitter, it's like a rainbowy type glitter that I have. And so I packed one in with a bunch of glitter, just kind of seeing is this stuff going to absorb it all or not. And then this one, I put just a little bit in there. I've let it sit there for about two minutes and it looks fine. I mean, I don't see any bubbles in it at all, but it's also so opaque, you really can't see through it. So I'm just kind of playing with it, looking at it and being like, all right, now let's pull. As you can see, I do a nice thin pour. It helps to reduce bubbles. Then I check to see if it's level. If not, add a little bit more. 
check to see if it's level again. And now we can move on to the gummy bears. I tried really hard here to keep each gummy bear separate, but you know, there's a little thin stream between each one. But I tried to pull back and then go, if you can tell. Alright, let's give it a few drops. Now, in comparison to resin, I've been doing all the same techniques, and I would say this squishy actually seems even more forgiving than resin, where is it? It seems that it was thicker and actually really flowed really well into all these gummy bears. I always have a problem with the gummy bear doing it in resin because the, the feet will always, I, I get bubbles in it so bad. But I don't think I got any bubbles in this at all. Next up, we're gonna put a little mica powder in there. Only thing I didn't do is I should have tried dyeing some of this squishy actual liquid itself but I didn't do that. I only did it in the mold this time. And so next time, cause I still have plenty more of that left. So next time we'll try it by dyeing a few. I'll do a few small batches and then try dyeing it. But this one actually worked pretty well. It's just me dusting it all out because I, I didn't want any extra mica powder at all in there. So I really took the extra effort to put the mica in and then take it kind of right out. Now let's pour that second row. This third one here is completely clear in terms of it has no extra stuff in it. Everything else has a little bit something in it. This is a super fun experiment. I would recommend you guys can try it as well. Make sure to you know have the proper gear and everything for it. I actually don't know the safety kit on all of this, so I did the same standard for resin, which is a glove and mask. So this is a cursive hello. So all the pieces are connected together, which is really convenient. I wanted to see how stretchy it would be and how resistant to tearing it would be. Try and make sure it's nice and full, but at the same time, make sure I don't go over it as bad. But I want it to really be the letters and not have a lot of overfill. I still had a little bit left, and so I actually used one of my new flower molds as well. This one ended up not being something that I planned because I was like, I don't know, this maybe is too detailed. These molds in the resin world are often feared because you can get bubbles, I mean, just so easy. There's so many tiny little compartments to it and so much detail to that flower that I honestly feared doing this one. And I was like, oh man, this one might end up ruining this mold. I don't know what's gonna happen to it. Stick around to the demolding and you can actually see it ends up being the best piece. <laughs> you know, sometimes you, you take a challenge and it ends up working out for you. This ends up being my absolute favorite piece. And I think if I do another squishy one later, I think I'm gonna do an entire floral one. See if I can't dye a few of them, can't put a few more sparkles and glitter into it. All right, as always, we're gonna scrape out anything that we have left over and try to make it as even as possible. All right, everyone, make sure to stick around for the demolding video. Hello, and welcome back to the demolding video. If you skipped just to this part, hi. <laughs> I wanted to show this off because this is a squishy and not resin. And so I know a lot of people in our community won't have seen this. 
And so I was like, I gotta include the demoting video in this one. Now can you see, they have hardened up, but hardened is kind of a, a loose term there because they are still very squishy. <laughs> As you can see, it is pretty much not see-through. Some of the very, very tips can be translucent, but overall, you're looking at an opaque object. Let's see how the one with mica powder on it works. This is a common technique in the resin world where you paint the mold instead of just putting it in. And as you can see, it almost looks kind of, I lack for a better word, dirty or something. There's not any coming off. Maybe a tiny bit extra, but that happens in resin too. If it just didn't seep all the way in. But overall, it looked like it stayed. I'm curious to see what uh, you know a month, a year, or even a couple days will do to it. See if it does rub off later, but so far, so good. This one was supposed to be the clean one, but ended up getting a few little shreds of other stuff, and that's all right. It did absorb it. Same thing with this one. This one was one of the heavier ones, and you can still see. Zoom in there, there you go. You can see it actually has it, and I've tried rubbing it off, and they are stuck in there. Even those little plastic bits, they stayed in. And also you can see, no bubbles. Honestly, the hardest thing about it is taking them out of these molds because you can see they almost make a, a tight seal to it. This is the one with all those little bits in it. And yeah, it absorbed it right on up. No bubbles. Look at the hands, the feet, everything looked great. <laughs> really should have painted my nails up before doing this video, huh? I've been working hard for an event that I have this week, so I hadn't painted my nails yet. This one has a bit of the over pour on it. I'm sure I can cut that off. As you can see, the glitter did fully absorb in. Whoops. All right, let's look at that last gummy bear. Isn't that so cool? They are squishy, but then they go right back to their original shape. All right, let's check out the moon. This one came out a little bit easier, for sure. Until I got to the moon part, we had a little bit of overpour, so it made it a tiny bit harder. And you can see this one didn't absorb all of it. I'm not sure why. Maybe it, it can't absorb around two pieces or three pieces, something like that. And then there's one piece here on the top right there that is not fully in. I could actually just pull that piece out. But the bottom half was stuck. So I definitely need more experiments with this squishy. Next up, let's get the hello out. This is just a fun piece to play with. It's so thin, but also just like, <laughs> so silly. It was a bit of a pain to get out. Is it really sealed onto it? But once you start it up, as you can see, it, it's not too bad then. It's that initial breaking of the seal that's tough. I'm happy to report no damage to any of the molds here, besides that. Uh, Moon and Scepter one does still have a little bit of extra stuff on it, but I'm sure I'll be able to clean that off. If something does get damaged later, I'll tell you in a future video. I'll do a report in a little while after I do a few more squishy videos and kind of see what the longevity and what, what my results are. 
But yeah, it's such a fun piece. Look at this thing. There's no real structure to it other than the line on the bottom that's connecting them all. So you can kind of make the word back again. But as you can see, the age and stuff like that aren't exactly the same. It's like, it's so squishy, you really have to play with it to get it exactly the same. But at the same time, you can kind of just throw it around and squish it. Well, <laughs> you can, well, squish it because it's squishy. <laughs> And it's not very sticky either. I, I think I did a good job on the mixing because it's not sticky and it feels really good. I'm curious how much dust and stuff like that it will get though. And it doesn't stick to itself that well, so that's good. Overall, really happy with it. And then now let's get this bonus piece. This one by far and away was the hardest to get out. I honestly at one point was like, okay, I might have lost this piece. Because as you can see here, it's just not budget. I really get in there and look, it looks like it's almost fused to it. Especially because it's the same color. And so my brain's like, where do I even grab? Where's the end of this start? And then boom, I find that little piece. I'm like, okay, I know that is my squishy. <laughs> so now I can start from there and really do the whole thing again, push it, push it, and finally. It comes out and man, oh man. Look at this piece. Absolutely perfect. All the detail is in it. In resin, that would be so hard to achieve. But this, this squishy, I mean, it, 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 I mean, I don't see any bubbles, I don't see nothing. It's perfect. Heck, I might, I might switch over to this instead of doing eco pour and stuff. <laughs> but I absolutely love it. I mean, look at the detail in it. So yeah, thank y'all so much. Remember to like, comment, subscribe. Please, please subscribe. I'm trying to get to 250. I'm so, so close, only eight away. When I hit that 250, I will do a giveaway for a free 18 inch rug. Plus, you get to pick out one yard of cotton fabric and I'll make you a bag and microfiber cloths and other little things that you choose. And I'll even throw in some resin pieces. If you see something in these videos that you want, tell me and I'll, I'll give it to you. One last little bonus for this video is as you know, I've been doing multiple cameras. This is my standard front camera that I've been using. And I wanted to know, do you prefer this camera or the one that I did use today? What cameras would you want? Do you want the left camera, the right camera, this front camera? Hey, make sure to put in the comments below if you like this view better or did you like the other view that I did today? Here are all the pours for this video and they're all done at three times speed, but yeah, I just wanted to make sure you could see all of them. And that way you can get a, f a fair comparison between them. See, I was thinking in the future, I might do this one and then the one that's had a 45 degree angle on my Ace Pro. But thank y'all so much. Like, comment, subscribe on Patreon, Instagram, Facebook, hvrugs.com. Bye, y'all.